Hey dolls and gents, your girl is back with a new video for you guys and this is the second birthday look that I am doing for you guys. This is more than likely the look that I will actually be rocking for my birthday this year because I've got big lashes, we've got glitter, gold, I'm bronzy AF and then I've got a bold lip for you guys. Also, I am rocking big curly wavy hair i am rocking one of my custom units this is one of our raw indian natural wave wigs i am rocking 28 inches and i have in four and a half bundles plus a lace closure do y'all see how full and big this hair is like this wig is literally giving me life right now. So if any of you are interested in ordering one of these custom units, I will leave the link down below in the description box for you guys. This is the hair in its natural texture. No product whatsoever. It is so easy, breezy. I love it. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below and also hit that bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. You do not want to miss these birthday makeup tutorials. It is officially Scorpio season. Where are my Scorpios at? Who is ready for their birthday turn up? I know I am like I've been waiting for it all year long okay so if you want to see how your girl got this full look right here how I transformed this face then you know what to do stay tuned boo so let's get into this b-day look number two i'm first going in with my anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in the shade ebony y'all already know that i've been using this stuff for ever now okay i like to put this on the outer three-fourths of my brow and then fade it into the inner portion of my eyebrow and we are going to clean this brow up with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 6.0. Again, I feel like I'm always saying this, but this product has been discontinued, so it's no longer available, but any cream concealer will give you this nice, flawless base underneath your brows. And I also like to use it on my eyelids to cancel out any discoloration that I have there and also serve as a base for my eyeshadow. Next, I am taking the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent and applying this all over the eyelids to set that concealer in place. This is going to be a perfect base for the eyeshadow. I am going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brick Eyeshadow first and applying this all over the crease. I do have a lot of space between my lids and my brows, so I do like to blow it out really high, but if you don't have a lot of space here, you can keep it lower than I am. So just blow it out or keep it low, depending on your eye shape, and then we're going to layer another eyeshadow over top this. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge Eyeshadow, which is a deeper matte brown, and applying this to the outer V of the eye. This is giving our eye a little bit more depth and dimension like I like, okay. Now I'm using one of my favorite shades from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette. I'm using the shade Zium, and this shade is so, so gorgeous, y'all. Like, it's bomb on its own, but if you apply a glitter over top this baby, yes, this just screamed, like, natural, not natural, I should say neutral birthday glam to me. I just love a gold, rose gold kind of eye. Ugh, so, so pretty. I feel like it's been a minute since I applied an eyeshadow underneath my brow bone, but I'm going in with the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Bamboo. It's just a matte beige tan eyeshadow. I really love it. If you are of a deeper complexion, this is the perfect brow bone shade if you don't like shimmer there. Next, I am going in with my Tarte Tardis liquid liner and I like using this to do wing liner. I pretty much do wing liner every time I do my makeup. I just really like the way that it shapes my eye and how it looks when I apply my lashes over top. 
But if you don't like a super wing liner look, then you can do a more natural wing with a pencil liner, or you could even do a very small line around the top portion of your eye without winging it out with the liquid liner. So next I'm going in with a glitter. I'm using my Lychee XO Rose Gold Glitter. This glitter over top that Jackie Ina eyeshadow is amazing, y'all. Like, do y'all see? It just makes it sparkle even more. I just love it. It's a very subtle look. I didn't pack the glitter on. I just applied a little bit just to give it more of a sparkle and sheen. Next, I'm applying my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the shade Carbon Black, and I like applying this to my lashes ahead of time. I don't apply my false lashes after this step anymore because I do like to wait until the very end so I don't get any powder, concealer, foundation, anything on my lashes. But we are going to start on this face makeup. I am first going in with my first primer. I'm using three today. I use the Smashbox Primer Water. And next, I'm going in with the First Solly Skin Tune Blur Serum. And I like to apply this on my T-zone area where I tend to have more pores. I don't really have too many pores, but I just like smoothing this area out because it just looks really nice when you apply all of your makeup. And lastly, I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I love this stuff. It is amazing. Like, I just love the way that it grips to my foundation, particularly this one. I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in two shades. I mix New Caledonia and... I forget what the other shade is, but I'll link it in the description box down below for you guys. I think it's Macau. No, it's not. It's something else. I will link it down below for you guys because I completely forgot, but I am going back to mixing the shades. During the summertime, I just use New Caledonia and then I mix during like fall and winter when my skin gets a little bit lighter again. Now it's time to cut this face, okay? I need my face to look more sculpted than it is. I have a very round face, so I love contouring. I am using the Black Radiance Foundation Stick in the shade Espresso, blending this baby out. I like to apply it to my cheekbones, my jawline, and my nose. I like all of these areas to look more defined. And also, when you apply your foundation, it just makes your skin really flat. So the contouring and the highlighting brings life back to your face, which is why I love it, especially for a birthday look. Like, you want to look banging in your photos, okay? I am going in with three concealers today. I'm first going in with the Urban Decay Stayed Naked Correcting Concealer, and next I'm going over top it with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And lastly, I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, and I'm applying this to the bridge of my nose, forehead, above my lip, my chin, and we are going to blend this baby out with my beauty blender. I go back and forth between my beauty blender and my foundation brush. I couldn't think of the word. I'm like foundation da, 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 brush. So yeah, I'm just blending back and forth. I like to look up when I'm doing underneath my eyes just to make sure that I stretch that area out so I'm not getting it in my fine lines. It makes it look more smooth. And I'm going to be setting it with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and Translucent. It doesn't add any coverage, but it definitely sets that area and I find that I don't get any flashback when I use this product, so I've really been enjoying just using the Laura Mercier instead of a yellow tone powder. I finally ran out of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Mellow Yellow Highlighting Powder, so I have recently been trying the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Powder, and it's okay. I need to find something else that looks better or works better than this, but it's working for the time being. I am going over the rest of my face with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Dark Deep. And this just adds a slight bit of coverage, but really it just sets my makeup and it gives me a little bit of a glow, which I like. And then of course, I'm going to be bronzing the hell out of my face with the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. 
And this one is the darkest shade, Mocha Mami. I love the shade so much. I basically am applying it everywhere that I contoured. So my jawline, my cheekbones, and my nose. Now it's time to highlight. I am going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Glow Kit. And oh, I'm using the shade Bubbly. This is just an amazing highlighter. I love it. But it wasn't giving me that glow that I wanted. Like, it gave me a nice base, don't get me wrong. But I wanted something a little bit more popping. Like, it's your birthday. They need to see you from across the room. So, listen, I definitely am going to be going in with something else after this, okay? Now it's time to blow out the lower lash line. I'm first going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brick Eyeshadow. It's the first eyeshadow that we use in the crease area. And I'm taking this blow. Like, I like my bottom lash line to look blown out. If you don't like that look, you can just keep it smudged on the lash line, like super close to your lashes. But I am smudging out the fudge eyeshadow right near my lashes. And then instead of doing a dark liner in the waterline, I wanted to keep my eyes open. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Eye Pencil in the shade Nude Beige. And I just love how it makes my eyes look open and bigger. And I, of course, am going to be applying mascara to my bottom lashes. Y'all already know. I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. These are perfect, perfect for your bottom lashes, y'all. Do y'all see that brush? Do you see how it's like a comb? More like a comb instead of a brush. It coats each and every one of your lashes, but doesn't cause them to look like all spidery and just like stuck together. And I told you I was going to be applying more highlighter. So I'm going in with the Artist Couture Sugar Daddy Highlighter. And yeah, it just gave me that glow that I was looking for. Okay, it came all the way through. So y'all know I do not do bold lips often, but this look, I was like, I have to do something bold. I was thinking like a traditional red lip, but then I'm like, no, let's do something a little bit different. Like we need something that is a little bit more edgy than just a traditional, like a true red. So I'm first going in with the MAC Mahogany Lip Liner. And this one is like... It's like a brownish red liner. And then over top, I am using the Fenty Beauty Underdog Lip Paint. This color is gorgeous. Like, this is like an ox blood color. It's so, so beautiful. I love this color. It's exactly what I was looking for. When I was thinking of the lip color that I wanted, I was thinking Diva at first. And then I'm like, you know what? I haven't used this lip color. Let me try it out. And it just gave me exactly what I was looking for. So this is the first time I've used any of her lip paints and they are amazing. And lastly, I'm going in with my lashes. These are my lashes. I already know they are not out yet. A lot of you have been sending me messages telling me about myself, but I'll let y'all know as soon as they drop. But I only rock my lashes. I love my lashes. So I hope y'all don't get too upset that I'm still rocking them in this video. But this is the look, y'all. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all of your love, your support. It means so much to me. If you could take the time to leave me a comment down below, show your girl some love. Also, like this video. It helps me a lot. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends. And the next video will be my last and final birthday look. So definitely stay tuned. And I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye. By the way, if you have not already watched my first birthday makeup tutorial, go ahead and check it out right here. Click the box. You know you want to. It's a lot crazier than this look, but it's still fire, so check it out.